away. Hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Star of a new Animal Planet show called Taking on Tyson. I can help cure your angry bird addiction in just three easy steps. Well, really, yes, one easy step. Mike Tyson's one step angry bird's addiction cure can help you. I agree. Now available for the iPad 2. Click here to order. That's right. He can do it all. <coughs> Mike Tyson, Angry Birds, cure the addiction. ESPN That's Radio right. 1198.9 FM. Mike Tyson, Zeb, Judah, and Studio. He, he can do it all. Entourage, Hangover 2, taking on Tyson on Animal Planet. Just I don't want to catch you in tights again singing a Bobby Brown song. Every little step with Wayne Brady. <laughs> well, I, you I cannot mean, dance. No, no, I agree. I cannot dance. I do agree. But I'm in, I am taking dancing lessons now. <laughs> I am taking dancing lessons. And I'm going to Argentina. And I'm going to learn how to, you know, Ballroom all those dance. great... No barn dances. I'm going to do the greatest <laughs> dances of all time. And this is called a tango. Ah, okay? Yeah. Beautiful. I was at a, I was at Sapphire Sunday night at a strip club. I didn't see you two there. No, nah, man. I wanted to a long hang time since I've been in my wife and go let me do that. So. <laughs> you can't go to a strip club. We can't hang out with the boys. No way, Jose. What are you shaking your head for, Zach? Yeah. You too? I don't go. What a disgrace. We're the toughest guys in the world. Nah, this is interesting. My wife got married. I used to hang out with my wife. Before we were married, we used to hang out at strip clubs together. Oh. Now she became this woman, the married woman with kids. We, oh, my God. No, we can't do that. Oh, my, Mike. Oh, you're going to the dogs. I tell you, oh, my. You're hanging around those those. People again. You know, I don't know it works though, right? Yeah, it does work. He yeah. might probably was the only guy that closed strip clubs in Las Vegas, and they don't close. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Who's there? Yeah. Did you see? Uh, are you following this Charlie Sheen stuff? I, I was following it, and you know, um, I think you know. Listen, I don't know what's wrong with Charlie. If he be passed the test, like everybody said, he is acting a little strange. Mm -hmm. I like to be on the show too, but you know, but that's I believe that's low. That's my dark side thing. <laughs> but you know, we gotta get it together, Charlie. Charlie, yeah, gonna Charlie. get it together. You know, I'm reaching out to you on Twitter, show. Now you're trying to reach him, right, Zach? That's Super Judah. Yeah. I'm looking for you. Wow. So what? I mean, you're, when when that happens, because you've been there, right, Mike? Uh -huh. uh, at least I I don't know where he's at. You know, what <laughs> I mean, I've been. All right, this this is where I've been. I don't know if he's there. I've been a damn fool. I've been on drugs and I made a fool out of myself, embarrassed myself, and other people too, of course. Right. But, um, and I thought I was awesome, you know, so I don't know. So that's where I've been, you know what I mean? I, I've been places where I, I, I wish I could just move and live on a rock and I can't even look at myself in the mirror no more. So I don't know. But Charlie doesn't seem to feel that way yet. So Let's hope he makes it. Well, this, that's what it's all about. You know, not many people... Again, I don't know what Charlie's going to do. He says he passed the test. I'm great at tricking tests. I'm great at that when I was on my little dope. But no, I'm not saying Charlie. But this is something that I'm great at. You know what I mean? Lying to myself. So if he's passed the test, then I believe him 100%. But then we're dealing with a personality problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. He's one of the best, best luck. Let's, let's, let's go back now. When you won the heavyweight championship, you were the youngest heavyweight champion of all time, Trevor Burbank. Now, even in your uh, documentary on HBO, and we were talking about this in the break with Zab, there was something going on with you before that fight. Now, share that with us. Oh, of course, that you know, I mean, of course, that VD, you know, of course, you know, um, I was embarrassed to tell anybody. Of course, you know. So you went in the fight, and nobody knew but you that you that you had contracted a, a some type of VD. Yeah, well, I told I told my trainer Kevin Rooney, but you know. We thought that this, I didn't understand, I'm just a 20-year-old sap. I'm thinking this is postponement, and these are my dreams <laughs> out the window because I'm sleeping with some tramp or right. something, right? And I got to tell you a story about that stuff, too, right? This is so crazy, right? So we went to the fight, I won, and when the fight was over, I couldn't wait to get out there because I was dripping like a hot, you know, like, a, like a good human in July. So I couldn't wait to get out of the ring, you know? So that was over. But, you know, it's just objective. I, I had to persevere because this was my life, you know. This championship, this was the start of what I dreamt of all my life. And I wasn't going to be denied. When you fought Spinks, you could tell when you walked in the ring that that fight was over. He was terrified. Well, you know, you have to put in consideration he's put in all his work already. He was already an established fighter, had a, a, a very consummate career. And um, he just, he was at the end of his boat. It wasn't that I beat a great fighter. I beat somebody who was a great fighter at one time, but he wasn't a great fighter at that particular time. 
Hey, uh, Zab, have you been in a fight before where you, right when you got in the ring, you looked across the ring and you knew, I, I got this? Yeah, 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 a lot, a lot of times. But like Mike said, you know, a lot of times when you get to these fights, man, you be nervous. I mean, I mean, no matter how hard you train, no matter how much work you put in, when you get to the ring, you be nervous and to the bell rings. You be, I don't know, a, a lot of fights, man, I've been terrified. Mm -hmm. You know, that walk from the dressing room to the ring, really? you know, that, that's terrifying. How, what was your yeah. move when you, when you were fighting uh, Money May? When you were coming down, walking to the ring, what was your thoughts? Probably, I mean, I, like I said, I wasn't scared of the fighter. I right. was just scared of the, the moment. Of, yeah, of the yeah. moment. People screaming at you. You don't really know what they're saying because it's so loud in there. <laughs> you just like, it's terrifying. And I think, and I, think and I, didn't mean, I don't mean to interrupt on you, but I think that fight has so much personal, um, there's so much personal incitement. Yeah, I want to rip they his both, head off. You know, yeah. they both know each other personally. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And yeah, I want to rip his head off. You know, back 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 then it was no love, it was no like. <laughs> we cool now. Yeah. that's my boy right there. He yeah. cool now. How, yeah. how about the other side? You ever go into the ring? Question for both of you. You ever go into the ring or a fight thinking uh, I'm in trouble here? I I could be in. I'm There's in no doubt. There's no doubt. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I know every fighter. I don't know that. But at the time when you. You have a certain perception in your mind, and you and this guy go in the center of the ring. You get instructions. You look at this guy, but you don't you don't blink on him. You just look at this guy. You just look at him. Then they said, touch glove and go to your neutral corner. You touch glove when you go when you go back to your corner. You go, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he came to fight. Everybody came to fight. All your corner. Everybody leaving. start leaving. <laughs> you say, you go back to the corner. You say to yourself, he came to fight tonight. Yeah. And I go to my corner and I say, he came to fight tonight. And my friend said, yeah, my, my trainer saw it too. He said, he came to fight. Move your head. Try to catch him cold. Move your head. He came to fight. He's coming to fight. And you could just look in his eyes and say, he's coming to fight. And you say, oh, shit. <laughs> you stay cool because you're all about right. to compose. You say, oh, shit. Do you remember You remember the opponent? Was it the Holyfield fight or was it, um, you remember when did that actually happened? Ruddick. With the Ruddick fight. The first one? one? The Holyfield really? fight was one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these guys come on the thing. You know, you just think, um. It's just crazy. You think you're gonna knock this guy? It's gonna be easy for next year. You see this guy. You know what I'm saying? You see this guy looking at you, and he say, "He say, all right, come on." Yeah, and the guy be looking at you like this. Mm-hmm. And you're the most invincible guy in the world. You think this guy? Mm -hmm. Baddest man on the planet. Mm -hmm. You look at this guy. You hear him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see this guy moaning and stuff at you. And I'm saying, "Cool." And I'm grunting some more. And he's like, "Mm hmm." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm going, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, this is hard. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you got me. They cool, yeah. Chip. I'm going to use you. Yeah, definitely. Oh, same oh, thing. Same you thing. Really? Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, I'm glad you got the only one you go, it's oh, real. shit. <laughs> <laughs> for me, he's coming to for me, you see, because I try to mix the lives back in the days, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't a disciplined fighter, you know? I can tell you, when I was champion, I was out partying, hanging out, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I used to wild out, you know what I'm saying? So when I get to the ring, and you would fight, fight, and then you, you get guilty. hit. Yeah, like the seventh round uh -huh. come, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for seventh round, I don't put work in. Now I get hit, boom, with a hard one, and you like, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, it's not. This this can't be happening. You know what I'm saying? And the whole you know, mindset thing. Like, boom. You yeah. would go all partying and you weren't you weren't focused. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Wow. Oh, definitely. Man. Well, that's that's the part of the lifestyle, party. right? Yeah. Mike? Nah, man. That's not part of lifestyle. I mean, now Later as in my I, career, my second career after I came out of prison, I was a party champ. Yeah. 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 yeah me too. I I, yeah. I can say that too. I mean, well, now I don't. I don't right. mix it too. One thing you gotta know in boxing, you can't mix it too. What'd you do before the Douglas fight? Oh well, I died. Uh, I mean, well, I'm toast. I'm just, I'm just a smuck. You know, that's why I'm Mike the smuck. That should have been Mike the smuck. I mean, you know, I'm just hanging out with a bunch of guys, just having fun. You know, did you train at all for the Buster Douglas fight? Well, I trained some. You know, I did well, but I wasn't really that focused. But he fought hell of a great fight. He, he did take that away. That was a great fight for people yeah. that if you haven't seen that fight, because fight. you actually knocked him out but it was and still he got the long, long count. count. I still say that count. was a long, a long count. You knocked him out. Man. Yeah, long but count. listen, man, that's what makes boxing so awesome great. because. Listen, I went. I had, I had ups and downs. I went to prison, but I came back and did it again. You know what I mean? I, and that's not to say that I'm some hell of a guy, good guy. But that's just to say it's the spirit. It's the not boys. to give up. You know what I mean? You, it's the perseverance. You mentioned prison. Consistency. You mentioned you mentioned uh -huh. prison. Now, what about the prison life? That when you were in there, I remember you're the baddest man on the planet. You get sent to prison in Indianapolis. What what about that? What is it about that that when you went in there you're like, oh man? No, um, you know, I have to say this. 
I was never worried about prison. I was born basically in prison. All my birth, my, my adolescent and my young adult, I've been in and out of form school. Right. Jail. So I, I've had that affinity. I, you know, I wasn't worried about getting along with men because the worst thing you got to do, you got to stab somebody, throw some gasoline lights. I know how to, that the scumbag stuff, I was, I was born doing that <laughs> okay. stuff. I just want to get out of there safe so I can go back to this cushy life I have. Okay. You know, because I got vengeance on my mind. You know, I got the Count of Monte Cristo. I'm reading that book while I'm in prison. You know, I'm in prison. I'm reading the Count of Monte Cristo, so I'm uh, I'm strategizing my revenge, my comeback to the world, basically, which it really meant nothing. But in my mind, it was a big thing because I was in that little controlled environment. And I thought I was Dante, the Count of Monte Cristo, and I was done wrong. And I'm going to um, accelerate my skills and become better than I was when I came out. And I still was just dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just, you know. But it humbled you, though. No, um, came home and did good, though. No, it didn't humble me. It I was didn't, a liar. Huh? No, I, I, I played the game. But, you know, humble. if you're not humble in this world, this world will throw humbleness upon you. What humbled you? But, you know, yes, my daughter, losing my daughter. You okay. know what I mean? That really humbled me. Because, you know what? really humbled me because... Um, Exodus. Yeah, I thought I was somebody. You know, I've been all the world, met Roy, and the people call me. I, I what can I do something, big shot? <laughs> do something. Okay, big shot. My Mike, that man on the planet. Your daughter's dying. Blow air in her. Big shot. Yeah. Yeah. Um.